Alright, hi guys. This is my question for everybody about the rock battery and the reason why I really don't think it's galvanic. If you uh, take your multimeter and you take two separate glasses and you put your magnesium in one and your carbon in the other, you're not going to get any voltage. The only way you'll get voltage is if you put the crocodile clip in as well. Then you'll get a very slight galvanic reaction. Oh, perhaps not on the carbon side, but on the magnesium side you usually do. Come on. <laughs> well, we're not getting anything at the moment anyway. Not from two separate containers. Now, of course, if I take this over here and put it in the same one, then it's the, the electrolyte can move and you straight away get, as you'd expect, a nice healthy one and a half volts. But what I don't understand is how this works. Because... If you look very closely, I have separated those electrodes. They're in two different chambers, just like the two different glasses of water. Except instead of, instead of water, of course, I've got the Epsom salts and the Shell salts and uh, some doping agents. But it's still working. It's been running since I made it, which was yesterday, um, about 24 hours ago. Uh, it's, it's not completely dried, it's still, it seems to me it absorbs a lot of water, this mix, from, from the air. The only reason I say that is because for a long time it kind of stays quite thick and pasty. But when it dries out, if it's still working when it's dry, I'm really surprised. I noticed that even without the mix inside, even with just the magnesium and the carbon in the rock, um, you could get a signal, certainly much better than the two glasses of water which isn't giving us anything you know when you've got it in two separate glasses whereas when you've got it in two separate holes you can get something and so I think it's certainly not galvanic how on earth could the charge carriers go through here just like with the two glasses of water they can't and so it's naught volts but here well something's happening because it's not naught volts anyway if anybody can explain this to me and or you know, if anybody's got the mainstream explanation for why this is actually working, because I really don't see how this can be galvanic when it's in two separate chambers. Anyway, perhaps it'll stop working when it dries out, I don't know, but I still don't see how it's galvanic. Anyway, there you have it.